Here's today's virtual warm up. We're gonna start off with some squat holds, but not your traditional burn the quad squat hold. We're gonna get some mobility out of this in our warm up. So I'm gonna take Harry, I'm gonna ask you to get down as low as you can. I know Harry has a deeper squat. And we're gonna hang out here for a while. We might spend a couple sets of 30 seconds here. And I just want you to push your knees out, kind of open up those adductors, maybe get on your big toe on one side, float back and forth, get down into those ankles, kind of close that ankle joint off a little bit and just hang out here for a little bit. Let's say that was 30 seconds, come on up. We'll go through that maybe two, three times. Now, if it feels good, go through four. Next, we're gonna go into some squat lunge. We're gonna get some movement going now. So all I want you to do is do a deep squat and the only emphasis I want is you to keep good posture and keep your entire foot on the ground. Don't go so far that your heel comes up. So go ahead and do a squat and come up and I want you to go right into a lunge with the right leg. Emphasis here and go back up is to squeeze the back glute. Now squat again and I want you to come into a lunge with the left leg. Emphasis here, we're gonna squeeze the right glute, keep a good posture, stay engaged. We'll go through that several reps of that, and then we'll get into the upper body. So the first thing, this one is gonna be more of a traditional hold. We're gonna go to a push-up hold. So go in a push-up position. This, we could get a, a lot of things going on. We could warm up the body. We could activate the core. All I want is to make sure is your core is active, your glute or, glutes are squeezed, and I want you to create some torque in that upper body where you're kind of screwing the hands, the hands away. And we're just kind of getting this stable position. We're getting a lot of things going on here. More than just the shoulders, you know, we work that core, work the glutes. Just give some context to what we're gonna do next. Now, once we've held that, we'll hold there for a while. Come on now, Harry. The next is gonna be a little movement. And we're gonna do a towel drag from somewhat a push-up push position. We're gonna go with the knee. I want Harry to come up, bring your arms out far like an overhead position. So he's got this stretch going here. Now I want you to drag the towel back to you and come up into a push-up position. Now when you come back, I just want you to shoot your hips forward and end almost like in a knee push-up, right? So it'd be your move, you're pushing your legs back. So head sit back, arms forward, and now your hips and arms are gonna come together. And we're gonna be activating the lats, some of this front stuff going on, anterior serratus, and just go through that a couple times. So we're getting a big stretch opening some things up in the upper body, opening up that T-spine, getting some flexion in the shoulders, and we're dragging it back up, activating, getting into a good position. Good. There's our warm -up, virtual warm-up for today. Welcome to week one, day three of the virtual circuit. We're gonna take you through today's workout. So we're gonna have our towel. Mr. Jonathan Harrison is gonna do what's, a, what's called a towel squat. Now, think of the towel squat like this. It's a simple trap bar deadlift position. We want to drive through the hips. We don't want to just pull with our shoulders. You want to sink and drive, sink and drive. Hold for a few seconds. Nice job, good, done. We'll come out of that and we'll go right into the banded squat. We want to try to stay as dynamic as possible with the bands. Good drive and squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. You want to make sure that the glutes are activated at the top of the movement. Good job. Nice. Now we're going to roll into the drop squat. Ready? Hands out in front, sink into it. Boom. Make sure you're catching yourself. You want to fall hard and catch yourself. Nice job. Good. Sit on down, Harry. We're gonna go into that upper back right here with a row. We're gonna make sure that we're torquing into the towel and squeezing. We don't want any flex. We wanna make sure that we're nice and neutral and a big hard pull. Good, good. Now we go right into the band. Right here. Same idea. You wanna squeeze and rotate. Squeeze and rotate. Let's do one more. Nice job, I'll take that from you. Stand on up. Now we're gonna do the same thing, just in a bent over position. This will be our final movement in our circuit. We're gonna keep beating this horse. Keep beating this horse. Posture is key. We wanna make sure everything that we're doing, we're staying in a nice neutral position. Good job, Harry. And that is today's virtual circuit.
Welcome to Virtual Mobility of the Day. Today we're gonna to focus on really uh, opening up that ankle flexion and extension that we've been working on in the past. So what we're gonna need here is a, I have a baseball here. You can use a racquetball or even a tennis ball, uh, whatever that kind of gives you this kind of size. And we got a couple bands with just different resistance. One is a little bit smaller, one with a little bit more. So all we're gonna do is have the athlete, there you go. Have the athlete get on down on all fours. And what we're gonna focus on is smashing out these shins. Right, smash out these shins. This is an area of the body that really gets overlooked a lot, but in terms of helping the ankle be able to extend and flex, it's important. So go ahead and get on there. And we're gonna keep the other knee on the ground. Don't wanna to put too much weight on it. But all he's gonna do is kind of roll back and forth, even side to side. And when he, whenever he finds a place on that, on that outer lateral part of the shin, wherever he finds a place that kind of is painful, he's gonna stay there, kind of drive into it a little bit and then relax, right? So it's kind of like our version of a contract relax. And just try to open up these shins, which is gonna open up the ankles. So find a spot, you know, take about two to three minutes. You don't wanna kill yourself. Good. Now switch it over to the left. So hit the right and hit the left side. All right, it's no good if just one ankle's working really well. Good, it's a little slippery, right? Just find a spot on there. Don't don't try to put too much weight on weight on the ball right now, especially when you're using a baseball. It's kind of hard. And just find those spots, and all we're trying to do is open up those ankles, because all this is going to do is allow some slack into the system, this lower body system, and allow the ankles to actually just be able to ex, ex, uh, you know extend and flex the way they need to. Good. Now after that. Now we're gonna go to the, the posterior part of this, right? So we're, now we're gonna smash out the calves. So just go ahead and sit on your bum. Good, and you're just gonna, I mean, same thing here. You're just looking for spots. Looking for spots on that calf. Make sure you hit the lower calf and the upper calf. You find a place that hurts, stay there for a second. Try to like drive into it, contract into it. Then relax, and then find another spot. Also, when you're rolling out, make sure we're going side to side as well really trying to allow those muscles, the muscle fibers to kind of just get a little more healthier. So make sure you hit the right, make sure you hit the left. If you need a little bit more weight, feel free to take the other leg, put it on top. And you'll notice, you'll feel when you start moving your ankle around, you'll notice the things are starting to loosen up. You'd be surprised how much this will help over time. Good, so we're gonna do that for a little bit. We'll give you some sets and reps on that. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna stand up. Actually, we don't even need any bands for this one. We're gonna stand up, we're gonna do a little bit more like some active mobility. And all he's gonna do is he's gonna get on the toes. And he's gonna walk forward, just stand on the toes, right? It's kind of extended here, a little plantar flexion. And what we wanna do is probably four trips about 20 yards of that. All right, after you get done with those, now we're gonna go dorsiflexion. So just active dorsiflexion, maintain that dorsiflexion itself and just walking back and forth. Take it on back. Good. That's your virtual mobility for today.